Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest in 2K in existence. And look, I'm gonna be giving y'all the best jump shots in 2K24 and how to shoot in 2K24. It is Christmas, a lot of Christmas noobs. You need to spread this to your homies. If you are a Christmas noob, really study and analyze everything that's happening. You cannot have fun in 2K. I play with randoms a lot, bro. Y'all still can't shoot. Y'all couldn't shoot in 2K22. So I'm going to keep dropping these hoes until the community gets way better. But <laughs> yeah, drop a like for Christmas. But before we get into everything, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 281K.8. We are like 80 subscribers away. <laughs> so the first jump shot we got right here is Kevin Durant. You got to be 6'10 plus. You got to have an 84 midi or three point. Now, if you have different releases, you might be able to get this jump shot at a lower needance, okay? This is a pretty good jumper, man, okay? For a 6'10 plus, it's pretty decent. Everything seemed green, the highest, the highest time and stability. Now look, we got Andre Drummond. Don't worry, I'm gonna get into the meta stuff. We got Andre Drummond, okay? You got those time and stability. This four to six nine. This for the 69 mid range, the 69 three point look. Besides the time and stability, it looked really green. Okay, you got a nice height, so you can shoot over people. You're already big. Hey, this for the lower rated, and it's still like you could really shoot. It's really up there, man. As a top jump shot for like bigger builds. Test it out, I'm telling you. Man. Hey, and we got that goddamn Isaac. All you need is a 77. Okay. You even get it at 76, but you know you got to switch the releases and stuff. Got a stupid high release height. And these bigger jump shots, for some reason, it's way easier to shoot on a bigger build. So you could really beat butter. Okay, y'all let me know y'all's favorite big man jump shots down below. Now here's the jump shot I like to like use on my 6.8 with a lower three point. Okay, you could get this jump shot if you got a 76.3, I believe. But you got to have different releases. I got videos on... The best releases in the game so check them out too but this is the jump shot i like to use got a nice release height for some reason man um i know some people be using ben shepherd and all that i don't know i like jt thor more it seems like i could green with it more and of course if i had 87 i would use <laughs> this jump shot right here this jump shot right here and i i think this whole the best jump shot in the game i ain't gonna hold you man that's why it's kind of key to make your builds uh, get at least an 87 on a mid or three point. Your locks, all that. I'm giving y'all sauce so you get that T-Mac, okay? It makes shooting way easier. It's the best jump shot in the game, dog. Of course, these releases, you can get this at a lower, but you got to use different releases. Hey, now this is the best for the small builds. This is what I like to use. And again, if any of these jump shots you can't hit with them, just lower the release speed, bro. As you can see, if y'all wanna laugh, go check out this video. It is hilarious, I'm playing with rec randoms. And yeah, keep watching for more tips and follow my Twitch, link in description. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Met the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game. Especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. 
I gave y'all the best releases in the game too, and I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hoe out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like when you play with without this and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83 point build, right? Look, space creator, max that hole, watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole, watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You wanna max out your shooting badges, bro. The agent threes, you wanna max this hole out before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. Okay? Limitless range. Max it out. Watch what's going to happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. Like all of them. Right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see... I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot. Figure it out. 
you get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo Off the top of the dome, dome.